Hi guys and welcome. Today is Saturday, September 2nd and I was a little bit in a quandary about what I wanted to feature today. Um, I have a few sets left. I had gotten in the masks. I thought um, maybe I would show those, but I'm going to show Magical Meadow just because not so much for the stamp set, even though this the sayings are great. The focal points are a little smaller than I'm used to, but um, we'll get over that. So it is a nine piece set and it is a, is that 17? I can't see. Can't read that, isn't that terrible? 13, 13 set die set. So let's go ahead. I'm going to grab some white. I'm going to grab some scraps and we're going to cut these out and see what they look like. So let me grab, maybe I'll grab vanilla. Looks like I don't have any white cut right now. So we'll grab vanilla. How about that? Um, it is a clear mount stamp, so we won't need our piercing mat. And let me just get out. It looks like the majority of the blocks will be using Hmm, where's my other block? Oh my gosh, did you hear that? My dog just walked in. He just got done with his walk. And he's noisy. All right, I don't know where my long... Oh, here it is. Here is my long block. Right here. With a stamp on it that I don't know. Oh, it is from here. I have been playing with this. All right, so let's go ahead and let's stamp this. We're going to stamp them all in... Old Olive, just because I'm an Old Olive kind of person. So here's uh, the first long one. Oh, and I may even have to... Maybe I would even need the longer block. Alright, so there's that one. And it is a distinctive, as you can see here. It is a distinctive stamp set. All right, let me put these off to the side because I know I have to clean them. Let's grab out the next little vine. I'm trying to leave a little space in between because these have dies that match. So there's that one. Uh, here's this one, which I have used on cards. I kind of like the way it stamps. And I used it with the craft white last, so hopefully I cleared it, cleaned it off a little. I might not have, but there you go with that. And then you have this little, I don't know, it's some sort of a bud. You guys can tell me. I thought at first it was tomatoes, but it's not tomatoes. It's just some sort of bud. All right, here we have the one scene. Which is a very pretty scene, just I feel like it's it's limited. But I'm sure I'll do a little research this afternoon and tonight, and I'll come up with wonderful ways for us to use these scenes. Okay, and then you have three words. Oh, I'm sorry, did I tell you? We're still continuing with these are bundles from the upcoming September through December mini, which will be available to you guys in a couple of days, the 6th. So wait, so it's four days, but four days, two days, a couple of days. And then let's go ahead and grab this one and put it right in there. All right, so there you have the nine piece stamp set with the three words. Let me get a little closer so you can see the words. All right, so now let's go ahead, close that up, put the blocks over here, and let's talk about these dies. All right, so first off, you have quite a few. Let me grab out my scissors because this will have to go through the mini 
We all know the mini doesn't like four inch paper. It needs to be, I think it's three and like five eighths or smaller. So let's just kind of cut around these and we'll show you those dies. All right, and I think they might even be around the words. I'm not sure. I can't show you the inside of the catalog yet, of course. It's not September 6th. That's when the catalog goes live, and that's when I can show it to you. So let's go ahead and get... And you know what? I was watching Kylie Bertucci's video the other day. And you know how sometimes with your... Oh, let me grab this. Sometimes with the mini, the platforms don't go through correctly or really great. She suggested using the three and one, two, I think it was. And it goes through a little bit better. All right, so let's go ahead. I need to get out from underneath here. Sorry, I need to get out my plate. So let's go ahead and let's cut out the first one. Put all the pieces over here so we don't get them lost. All right, so let's see what we can do here. So here's the first one. It's the little scene. I don't know, that's it. No, I think you still need to do two. Yeah, I think you still need to do two. All right, so this is the little scene, and it goes with this one here. Oh, look, and it did, it did cut that out very nicely. So, and I was able to put this in almost directly. So maybe, maybe her and Bruno are onto something. They're really fun to watch. All right, so now let's go ahead and match this one up. I am centering around the little round pieces and that little leaf right here. All right. Try this again. And there's that one. Do you like how I got out my uh, fall? Should have done it yesterday because yesterday was September 1st. So I should have had it out yesterday, but I didn't. Let's go ahead, get this lined up. Oh, I think I like using that three even better than using the one for the baby. So there's that one. Sort of a little bit of an angle. It looks like this is the one here. And of course you could always use, if you're afraid it's going to move, you can always use your blue tape or your washi tape or your post-it notes to hold your dies down. Oh my gosh, I may never use the one on this ever again because that's just perfect. There's that one. All right, here we have this one. My 
screen went down, but I don't think we went down. But we'll see, huh? When I review it, we'll see. Very nice. All right. So, and then here's this one. Oops, it moved. I'm going to have to use some tape on this one. If I can get my fingers to work. that in the garbage all right so now we have the words and it looks like the words don't have a cutout but you know what that's all right it doesn't really matter so now for these let me grab a piece of can't grab let's grab a piece of Old Olive. Um, let me go ahead and grab out. Let's cut some lengths that will fit through the mini. And let's do a little skinny one. How about that? Alright, so let's see how these end up working. So you have this one. Oops, sorry, I didn't show it to you first. You have this one. So let's go ahead, put that through, see what it looks like. Oh, you know what? At the same time, let's angle that. It still fits. And let's put this through and these through. Hopefully none of this moves and we ruin the die. So let's go ahead, pick those up. So there, I might have hit a weak spot in because I ran them all through. It looks like I didn't get a lot of pressure there. Let me go back and forth and see if it pops out. See how that's a little, let me just move up those fibers, see if I can get it out without, let me try ripping that away and then I'll use my pokey tool on that inside part. That's what happens sometimes when you run more than one die through. You have gradients or different levels that are going through the rollers at the same time. So sometimes they won't be as crisp or sharp certain parts of the die. So I'll get that little piece out in a little bit. So now let's see. No, it doesn't match up. I was going to say, does that match up to that? No, it doesn't. All right. So you have that. You have like a little holly leaf. And then you have all of these little holly berries probably can't see it too much because this is see all those little holly berries or oh, there's even some still stuck here on the cardstock 
All right. I'm not going to keep those holly berries. If I need them for the project this afternoon, I'll cut more out. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's get this big one. That will go through. Excellent. I'm just going to run this one through by itself only because it's very intricate. So I might go this way and back. All right, let's see. I'll have to get my pokey tool. off there we go you want to be careful that you don't rip any of that off because it is pretty fine you put my take your pick tool so there's that maybe that one matches up with this no it's the other direction yeah no it looks similar because I thought it was because of those little circles and berries there, but it's not. But it'd be great for layering. Oh, this darn rubber band, uh, rubber band, band-aid. All right, so there's that one. Let's go ahead and do this one. Let's kind of put it in there like that. So hopefully I have room for that last one. That last one looks like it's a, like a pussy wall bush or something. I don't know. We'll have to see. All right, so here's this one. You have all these little tines. So you want to make sure that you don't rip them off because they are going to take just a little bit of maneuvering to release them from the cardstock. So there's that. I don't, I'm going to have to put this on a different one here. So they have one I only ran through once because there's not a lot of little intricates. So yeah, so what do they call those? Cattails? I can't think what they're called. The things that are on the side of the river. And again, just a little finagling because you have a lot of thin pieces. So just kind of break it away from that cardstock slowly. And last, but certainly not least, let's go ahead, run this through. I think this just makes a texture. I don't think this cuts out. I think it just makes texture on your card. And it does. Very strange because nothing else has snowflakes in it, but that has snowflakes in it. Hmm. Very pretty. All right, guys. So that's it. That's the Magical Meadow bundle in the September to December mini catalog. Come on back tomorrow and we'll do some example. We'll do one example with the stamp set and then we will go ahead and show you others I've made throughout the day. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.